Yukon's Board of Regents heard from both sides this morning on whether to close the school's Torrington campus. Attendance is low and the university needs to cut costs. But News H. Ken Pierce was there and says that the uh, town really does depend on the school. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon, Keith. The town does, the students do, and um, all of them came to this meeting of the Board of Regents and Stores this morning. The city of Torrington wants to keep that campus open. The students want to keep it open, too. The problem is there just are not that many of them. When you walk around Yukon's Torrington campus, you notice things are a little empty. Having so few students mean that classes are not filled, classes are small, the faculty of the classes that are not filled obviously still need to teach. And get paid. The cost of keeping the Torrington campus open has UConn's Board of Trustees holding this hearing about closing the campus. There are just not as many people graduating high schools in the area. Which has led to the current population of 88 full-time students in Torrington. David Benson is one of them, and he says the small school feel works. It's a tiny family, and that's the way I feel. It's if they do close this campus, you're breaking up a family. It's very difficult for students who live in this area, um, not just because of, you know, we're further away. You know, some students live 40, 50 minutes away. They would have to go to Waterbury, uh, but a lot of our students work. More travel time means less time working and learning. Community leaders say UConn has been trying to make the Torrington campus fail by not advertising it and moving classes to the Waterbury campus. By its own admission, the university has said deferred maintenance of the campus is a reason for closure. Who deferred the maintenance? But UConn officials say they've actually increased advertising and done other things to try to encourage enrollment. In the last couple of years, increased financial aid to students in the area. The reality is it's, it's, uh, it is a function of how many people are graduating from the area high schools. And that trend of so few people graduating from the local high schools not expected to change anytime soon. Nothing was decided today. The Board of Regents is going to have another meeting next month when they actually will vote one way or the other about closing that campus. I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, over to you. Ken, thank you. And you can find out the very latest developments on this story over on our website at WTNH.com.